Most doctors still believe that having high cholesterol is actually bad for you, that it, that it actually increases your risk of heart attack and stroke. Uh, many, many doctors will tell you to take a statin, which is a cholesterol lowering medicine, if your cholesterol is even the least little bit high. And there are even some doctors out there, if you have normal cholesterol, they still want you to take a statin. There are even doctors who have went on record out there in the medical world saying that statins are so safe that we should actually put them in the water supply. So that's not true at all. And this video is going to help you understand that. This video is about 10 worrisome things that research shows that statins do to you, your body, and your mind. I'm Dr. Ken Berry, a family physician with 20 years of clinical experience, and that's what this video is about. If you know someone, mom, dad, brother, sister, who takes a statin drug or any of the cholesterol lowering drugs, please consider sharing this video with them because you could actually improve the quality of their life and maybe even save it. Uh, just in case your doctor says to you, what, you heard this from some Dr. Barry on YouTube? That's crap. I put all the research links down below so you can actually read them for yourself. I don't want you to ever blindly believe me or your doctor. I want you to make an informed decision about every pill that you decide to take or decide to not take. If you've had a side effect from a statin that you used to take in the past, please put your side effect in the comments down below so people can see, no, you're not crazy because many doctors will tell you all oh, that statins don't do that. Put your side effects in the comments below so people can see that and know that they're not crazy. Now let's get into the 10 things that research shows that statins do to both your body and your mind. Number one, statins actually lower the amount of vitamin K2, MK4, that is stored in your kidneys. Now we know that your brain, your pancreas, your kidneys, they, they actually store vitamin K2 in the form of MK, MK4. We don't know why they do that, but if they go to the trouble and spend the energy to store vitamin K2 in your kidneys, that's probably important, but statins lower that amount. Number two is that statins lower your testosterone level, and this is important for both men and women. Both men and women need a certain amount of testosterone for, op for optimal function, and statins lower your testosterone. Number three, statins absolutely increase your risk of type 2 diabetes. They increase your blood sugar. This is known and is, is widely talked about in the medical literature. And again, I put the links down below if your doctor doesn't believe this so you can prove them wrong. Number four, statins lower your coenzyme Q10 or your ubiquinol level. Very, very important for energy, for proper mitochondrial function. You need CoQ10 and statins lower that. Number five, statins are going to, at the very least, raise your liver enzymes. And this is a sign of liver irritation or inflammation. Statins actually can cause quite a bit of damage to your liver, but but even at the minimum, they can elevate your liver enzymes, which is never a good thing. So if you've had chronically elevated liver enzymes, it's probably your statin drug causing that. Number six is that statins lower your energy level and can uh, increase exercise fatigue. And so you just don't have the stamina for walking, for exercising. You just feel fatigued and tired all the time. Statins can definitely do that. Number seven, statins lower your DHEA. Now this is a hormone that's produced in your adrenal glands and it's known as the mother of all of your gender hormones, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen. They all come from DHEA. Statins lower your DHEA. Number eight, statins have been shown multiple times to worsen your memory and maybe even increase your risk of dementia. Not good at all. Number nine, they increase your risk of having shingles. And again, I put the research below. Shingles suck. Ask somebody who's ever had them. So if you or someone you know keeps having recurrent bouts of shingles and you're on a statin, that's probably why. Then number 10, statins increase the risk of erectile dysfunction in men. And so men out there, if you're on a statin and you're having problems with ED, it's probably the statin. Now, if you're under the mistaken belief uh, still that 
having high cholesterol is actually bad for you, I'm gonna pop a video link right up there. You can click on that. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna have a video here and here that explain more to you about what cholesterol actually does in your body and why it's actually a good thing. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please take one second and click that subscribe button and the little bell button right beside the subscribe button so that every time I have a bright idea, you'll get a notification. Also, from this video, you can tell I'm never gonna be sponsored by a big pharma corporation. So please click on my Patreon link. It's right down in the show notes. It's a super quick sign up. You can throw a buck or two my way so that I have more time and more resources to make videos just like this. I'm Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.